Hello, it's Peter here again from writerslife.org and today we're going to talk about how to avoid writing clichés. It can be pretty tough to write an entire novel without slipping into certain clichés. However, there's not much that will turn your reader off faster. Clichés tend to interrupt the flow of the story and show an absolute lack of imagination and creativity from the writer. If you are trying to get a publishing deal and your book is full of clichés, not only in your writing but also using a clichéd idea, no publisher is going to buy it. It's not easy to avoid writing clichés altogether and often we use them without even noticing we're doing it. So how can we weed them out or better still prevent them entirely? Here are some useful tips. First, don't steal other writers ideas. Some plots have just been done to death and they have been written and rewritten so many times it's almost impossible to avoid falling into the trap of a cliché if you choose to focus your story around them. When writing a book your idea needs to be unique. Make publishers, editors and most importantly your readers sit up and take notice of something that hasn't been done before. Next. Avoid being overly sensational. There is a myriad of moving subjects to choose from when writing a book and lots of great books have murder, car crashes, bombs going off, wars, descents into madness and so on as part of their plots. However, these sensational subjects can be challenging to write without falling into cliches. This doesn't mean you can't tell stories that include these elements. But when you do, pay attention, pay particular attention to your writing and be alert for any cliches that may appear. And next, make the ordinary extraordinary. One good way of avoiding cliched writing is by turning everyday events and occurrences into beautiful, unique, unusual, life-changing adventures. It's more of a challenge, but by focusing on smaller, more unusual things that happen in everyday life or taking something that we are all familiar with, yet making it suddenly breathtaking or extraordinary is a great skill to have as a writer. And next, tell your story the way you want to. No one can tell your story or share your experiences the way you do. If you continue to write clichés, it suggests that you are not being honest with yourself. You have a unique perspective and an original voice. Tap into that. Use it instead of borrowing from others or retelling a story that wasn't yours to tell in the first place. And next, be authentic. Clichéd writing often becomes that way because it's not true to real life. Try to avoid injecting your book with melodrama when it's not necessary. You'll only end up creating a story that doesn't resonate with an audience and lacks the authenticity necessary to connect with your readers. By using these tips, you can eliminate clichés from your writing and create powerfully original stories that really are entirely different than anything else. And don't forget, if you're struggling to write or finish your book, our free writer's toolkit can help. With it, you'll learn how to overcome procrastination, get organized, stay focused, find time to write, and finally get your book published. To get access now, while it's still available, simply go to writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. That's writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. That's it for now. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. My name's Peter and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.